Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, welcome to Philip Vlogs and today, just like you see in the thumbnail, uh, we are going to use a 10 to 18 millimeter and this one is an image stabilizer so we are hoping for a stable shot with this one although the camera doesn't have a stabilization, I think this will do okay, so with this 10 to 18 millimeter, it is a third party is it a third party? no, it's not a third party but it's canon to canon but we still need to use the adapter the canon adapter right here because we cannot feed the 10 to 18 millimeter efs to this one this one have a native lens like m lens from canon or sigma yes they don't need the uh, adapter for that but tell you guys this lens is what i've been using the whole time for almost a year now and honestly it didn't let me down in any scenarios and I kind of enjoy it it is very light aside of that the camera is very light so it's really good for vlogging as you can see this is my setup and 10 to 18 is very good for vlogging because of the wideness just like we will see right here right now this is the Samsung Note 10 plus and it's almost the same but we will see later on how it will work and I'll show you how it is for now I'm gonna take a landscape shot so you will see how it's gonna be I will tell you which millimeter I am using and by the way 10 to 18 millimeter times 1.6 crop is like 16 to 28.8 it's, it's getting harsh here <laughs> sunny huh, but I can't I can't I can't take a photo with sunglass so we will use this one without any filter straight from the camera okay we will do that a landscape yeah. right. so I'm gonna take now a landscape starting from 18 millimeter so this will be uh, 18 millimeter I'm using the EVF because it is much better to use it. Fourteen millimeter. And now the 10 millimeter. And now let's try to take a shot from right there, the plants. Let's see how it is in a close-up shot. So you will know how it is if it's if you can use it for micro shots or not. Let's see if you will get a nice sharp photo. Let's do it. You know what? There are so many bees right here and I'm kind of scared what's gonna happen to me here after after take a shots. Uh, I think I got some nice shots right here and I would say this is quite capable but it's not as capable like real macro shots and 
by the way next time i'm gonna use the 18 to 200 millimeters so you will see the tight one the super lens so super lens zoom lens <laughs> so now let's do the vlogging and we are going to use this one for vlogging now let's do it all right so we are back and right now we are using the camera with our lens 10 to 18 millimeter of canon and let's see how it's stabilized i am in 18 millimeter with a 28.8 full frame equivalent and as you can see it's quite sharp i like it i am right now in f10 okay and i'm using a 60 frames per second with 100 ISO it's quite good I like this Canon EOS M50 as well because I can see myself if I am in frame or not not like other cameras like Sony or but you know what Sony just released A7S3 that's that's damn good and but it's quite so expensive <laughs> so this is the 18 millimeter guys I will zoom it out to 14 millimeter yes so this is the 40 millimeter and i'm just holding the joby pad okay with this one and this is what you will see i think it's quite wide let's change it from f10 to 5 or 7.1 yeah because the sun is hiding again so you can see right there no you cannot see it <laughs> okay so since the sun is hiding we can remove my glass huh. so this is the 40 millimeter and don't worry i'm gonna do it with the widest focal length which is the 10 millimeter and i'm gonna do it now so guys this is the 10 millimeter all right i'm trying to be careful right here so what do you think about it is it good huh you can't see the uh, clouds right there very well it's kind of blown out let's see if we can do something what about this yeah so this you can see the clouds very well uh-huh but you can't see me anyway i am dark guys so <laughs> oh, what a beautiful place right here look at that uh-huh 10 millimeter guys and what about 14 and 18 this is the maximum zoom and if we will pull it out bam that is the widest so 16 millimeter full frame equivalent it's nice it's kind of scary here you know to vlog because so, so much bees right here let's find a uh, plant that we can use you know for zoom let's do it this one i got one look at that wow look at that like a vertigo how is it it's nice and what about this or this one let's do it wow look at that I'm changing the uh, shutter speed it's nice so what do you think guys is it good do you like it I kind of like it and just like I said this is what I've been using the whole time what about the wobble can you see wobbles right there in the corners and as you can see if I'm putting my hand right here it's big because every lens have like this widest lens they have this kind of distortion on the corners all right so i'm going to take some more shots so you will see how it's the landscape is here we go one two three bam
Alright, so those are the shots that we got for today for this uh, Canon EFS 10 to 80 millimeter and I hope you like it. I strongly recommend this one and compared to M lens native lens for this Canon ESM50 actually this is quite cheaper. It is cheaper compared to the M lens. This is a very capable and I call it ultra wide lens. If I didn't mention earlier, I am using a Canon EOS M50 with 24.1 megapixels. So whatever you see there, see there is right on the bat and hope you like it. So thank you guys for joining me today and hope you will buy this one if you're interested, not only for vlogging but you can also use for archi architectural, okay, <laughs> for a nice landscape photography yeah it's very very good and it's up to you you can use any filter to avoid this kind of brightness so you can yeah guys thank you so much have a nice day take care and enjoy your life stay away from coronavirus bye thank you